global warming. Global warming is where the temperature goes up. The temperature of what? The temperature of the planet. Yeah, the globe, the planet Earth. But wait a moment. Let's practice the pronunciation of this strange word, temperature. If you'll notice, it's not pronounced temperature. No, the center gets squished. And we just say temperature. Repeat, temperature. The temperature is rising. Hey, what's the temperature today? Good job. Okay, so the global temperature is going up and it's creating a lot of problems. So let's get you ready to talk about global warming. Global warming causes many problems. One is hurricanes. Repeat, hurricane. Yeah, this is a big storm. Many of them happen in the Caribbean, which is south of the United States. A hurricane looks like this. Yeah, swirling around, rotating, and getting more and more powerful. They can be really scary storms. Does global warming cause hurricanes? No, but when the temperature of the planet goes up, the hurricanes become more frequent and more intense. What do they become? Exactly, more frequent and more intense. Another problem of global warming is forest fires. Yeah, a forest fire can be a big problem. Okay, global warming does not cause forest fires, but remember it makes weather more extreme. Yeah, it makes weather what? Exactly. So we have bigger storms, we have hotter summers and colder winters. Everything becomes stronger or What's a synonym for stronger? Good. More powerful or more intense. So global warming makes areas drier, more dry, right? We say drier. And that creates the conditions for forest fires, terrible forest fires all around the world. Hey, what's a synonym for world? All around the planet or all around the earth? Nice job. And another problem of global warming is drought. <sighs> Look at that word. I know, it's terrible. When you see GH, you never know what to do. Sometimes it's silent and other times it's <sighs> like in enough. But here it's silent. So repeat, drought. Yeah, and drought it's when there is no water for a long time. Yeah, so droughts are terrible. Repeat, we're having a drought. This is a terrible drought. Hey, we have to conserve water. We're in a drought. Good. And the last problem with global warming is the polar ice caps. The polar ice caps are on the top and bottom of the planet. Yeah, and they are disappearing. Slowly, they're getting smaller and smaller. The verb is melting. Repeat, melting. Good. The ice caps are melting and the water level is going up, up, and... And up again. Yeah, exactly. Up again. <laughs> is it going up? Two centimeters or 22 centimeters? That's right, nobody knows for sure, but what everyone agrees is that the ocean levels are going up. That is totally clear. Okay, so repeat, polar caps. The polar caps are melting. Good, and the last thing I want to talk to you about is gonna. Yeah, gonna. This is an informal way of saying going to. Yeah, when you're having a normal situation, many times we say gonna. 
I'm gonna go. I'm gonna see. Repeat. Gonna. Repeat. I'm gonna talk to her. Good. But wait a moment. You have to be careful because if you're talking about a destination or a place, you don't say gonna. For example, you don't say, I'm gonna the store. No, you have to say, I'm going to the store. Right? You don't say, I'm gonna California this summer. No, you have to say, I'm going to California because it's exactly a destination. And can you think of any other words that we do this to? Exactly. We use it for wanna and we use it for gotta. Instead of saying, I have to go, we say, I gotta go. Instead of saying, I want to go, we say, I wanna go. But that's for another class. Oh, and there's one more thing I want to talk to you about. It's, I've been doing. Yeah, I've been doing. This is when you start an action in the past and you continue it to the present. For example, ooh, I have been working for two hours. Repeat, I've been working for two hours. That means I started two hours ago and now I continue to work. Yeah, it starts in the past and continues to the present. Yeah, or another example is I've been talking for five minutes. Repeat. I've been talking for five minutes and you aren't listening. Okay, well now we're going to do a dialogue together. But first, you remember how this works. Do you? Good. You are going to listen to both sides of the dialogue. Pay attention to my pronunciation and also the intonation of the language, how it goes up and down. Okay? Then let's go. What's the big deal? What are you talking about? Why is everyone so worried about global warming? Well, the temperature is going to rise by at least two degrees. That's fine with me. I hate the cold. And there will be more droughts, more forest fires. Oh, boo-hoo. Sorry, California. And weather will be more extreme. More hurricanes, more floods, more blizzards. I love a snowstorm in June. And, and the polar ice caps will get smaller and smaller. Who needs polar bears anyway? And... And what? And say goodbye to Disney World. What? Mickey? Mickey. And Ariel? Yep. And the Beauty and the Beast teacups? All of them? Underwater? All of them. Glub, glub, glub. Well, then we've got to do something. Exactly. I'm going to call my senator, and, and I'm going to eat less meat, a and I'm going to take public transportation. Yeah, that's what I've been trying to tell you. I knew Disney World would convince him. Okay, did you follow everything all right? More or less. All right, good. Now it's your turn. First, you are going to read the red text. Are you ready? Let's go. What are you talking about? Well, the temperature is going to rise by at least two degrees. And there will be more droughts, more forest fires. And weather will be more extreme. More hurricanes, more floods, more blizzards.
and, and the polar ice caps will get smaller and smaller. And, and say goodbye to Disney World. Mickey. Yep. All of them. Glub, glub, glub. Exactly. That's what I've been trying to tell you. I knew Disney World would convince him. Okay, now you are an expert with this vocabulary. There were some difficult words in there, like drought, yeah, that's a crazy one, and floods, global warming, and my favorite, beauty and the beast teacups. Okay, that's it. Well, great job today, and remember, you are getting better and better every day. Mm -hmm.